Hey everyone, uh, this is my contribution to the One Direction video meme. Uh, my friend Vanessa, who is Vanessa Mary, everybody follow her on Tumblr. She did this and I thought it was so funny, so I figured I have to try it. Um, I'm going to do the best that I can, um, and I hope you guys uh, like it and watch it and make your own, because I'd love to watch them all. I've been watching a couple and I've actually hysterically died, so thank you guys so much for that. Um, after the week I've had, I could have used a good laugh, and, and I didn't, it's all because of you guys, so thanks. Um, so I know we have to have something <laughs> that represents the boys. I unfortunately don't. I mean, you can kind of see the hairstyle. It's a little bit Harry Styles. I feel like if Harry Styles had long hair, this would be it. So, uh, we're going to do that. So that's my contribution, the Harry Styles hair color and, uh, style and... It's clean, not like his. His looks pretty dirty all the time, but mine is clean um, and not professionally done. So um, that's always a good sign. And I am wearing a whatever shirt because um, the boys just like to, to be whatever about things. So that is my contribution. Um, so I'm going to get on with these questions and hopefully I don't make a complete idiot of myself. So let's start. And I apologize for leaning forward. I can have my glasses on. I can't see. The print's really, really small. What can I do? The first question is, open up a favorite fan fiction, close your eyes, scroll down a random amount, and read a sentence aloud from the top of your browser window. Okay, this is my thing. I, I know that I write it, and I know that some of you have have read it, and I have liked it and reblogged it, so thank you. Um, I actually don't have a favorite. I don't really read the fan fictions. I will admit that 100%. I will. I do read the imagines and the preferences just because they're um, a lot shorter sometimes. Um, so, yeah, I don't have a favorite, so I can't pick one. But I will say that um, everything you guys write is so good. Um, even some of you whose, you know, first language is in English, it, it's really well done. So, good job, guys. I really, I really enjoy them, and uh, yeah. So, thanks for that. Let's go to the next question. Do you think Zayn Malik actually exists? From video evidence and picture evidence, yes, I do think Zayn Malik exists. I've never personally met Zayn Malik or any of them, so I really don't have a physical view if they exist or not, but I imagine that they do. Um, I can see why they wouldn't, because uh, they're very good-looking men. Yeah, but Zayn Malik definitely exists, um, and I hope for all of his biggest, biggest fans that uh, they get to meet him one day and can actually tell me if he does exist and all that fun stuff. So, yeah, he exists. I am breaking the news here. Zayn Malik exists. And can we just give it up for Mr. and Mrs. Malik for creating him? Thank you. If you're watching this, thank you. You created an amazing man. So that is always fun and exciting. Next question. Tell a story about a time you lied and said you didn't like 1D. I'm pretty open with the fact that I like One Direction. That's not a really a lie to anyone. Um, I did lie on the date once. But that was just because it was the first date and I wanted to impress him. and It didn't end up working out anyway, so it didn't matter if I impressed him or not. But... We were in the car, and Story of My Life came on. So this is fairly recent, and uh, he was like, oh, do you like the song? And I was like, yeah, I'm like, great song. He's like, do you know sings? And I'm like, yeah, I'm like One Direction. He's like, oh, so he goes, so you, you like One Direction? I was like, no, I, no, no, why would I like, why would I like One Direction? I mean, you know, I just did that to impress him. That was a total bullshit lie and thank god we never dated because i don't think i'd be able to ever show him this because that's just a bad start to lie to someone for first date well i mean i guess we did that anyway but yeah <laughs> the one time i lied about one direction and i work at indigo which is a bookstore in canada if you all are here to check it out um we do sell a lot of one direction merch and books and all that fun stuff so come into my store check it out go into any indigo chapters check it out and uh, pick up your 1D merch. That is my shameless promotion for my job. So uh, yeah, for, let's get on. Let's move on, and uh, let's go to the next question. <laughs> next question is: If you had to change your blog URL right now, what would you change it to? 
Um, Niall's wife. <laughs> I think that's pretty much everyone. I think we'd all have, uh, we'd all be in a wonderful polygamous relationship with Niall Horn, or whoever it is, because I think that that's always so cool. And um, I'm open for it. If you guys are, let's do it. But if I had to change it, it would be. I really like Little White Lies. I really like the lyrics to Little White Lies. So it would be something like that. I think that that's the one that I would go with. But it's probably already taken. So I'm going to stick with my URL, which is NH uh, Cheeseburgers and Jelly Babies. So shameless promotion again. If you're not following me, follow. I will gladly follow you back. Thanks, guys. Next question is, what rituals have you been using to plan uh, using or plan to use in order to honor Niall during 2014, the year of the crack. Is it crack, crick? I'm not sure what it is, and I didn't know what it was. I heard him say it in interviews, and I had to Google it. I know what it is now, but I had to Google it, which is awful because I think I should know this because I love Niall. But um, I say, I'm throwing this idea out there. I say all of us just have one night. We make a rule, like we make a list of rules and just get smashed and tumble drunk and let's see what happens. I think that'd be so fun. I think they would appreciate that because I know they do check Tumblr and they're proud that they ever see this. Oh God, I'm in so much trouble. But yeah, I'm going to say that or, or I can learn how to play guitar because I've always wanted to learn how to play an instrument and I'm not talented in music. So I think I could play guitar. I really want to learn how to play drums too so i might do something like that i think that that's something that we can all do together just have a huge jam sesh so that's what we're gonna do to honor mr nile horn in 2014. next question is kill fuck mary harry louis or Zane? okay <clears throat> kill louis i love him i just think he's looking really homeless lately i think that he needs a shower a good haircut a stylist or he needs to contact his stylist I know for damn sure they're not letting him dress like that um, but I blame Harry Styles for a lot of this so um, it's gonna be Louie that I'm gonna have to kill off I'd fuck Harry because Harry just doesn't seem like he's in, into a relationship right now and that's cool go do your thing boy smart way to do it no uh no attachment no feelings just do it so I admire that and I would marry Zane because I feel like he is the marrying type and I feel like I would want to have his babies because they would be really, really cute. Well, because they're his father, not because I think that my kids would be cute anyway. But, um, yeah. No, I think I'd marry Zane. I'm really upset that Niall isn't in this list because Niall would be Mary and fuck because I'd fuck Niall first and then I'd, he'd have to end up marrying me. So that's always a good thing. So we're going to go on to the next question before I thoroughly embarrass myself again. Okay. Next question. Have you forgiven Liam Payne? If not, under what conditions would you forgive Liam Payne? Okay, this question is a little ambiguous because he did two really stupid things this year. Well, last year. That rant on Twitter and standing on that building. Standing on the building thing, that was just dumb. Don't do that, Liam Payne. We don't want you dead. We love you too much to do that. So don't do something stupid like that again. The Twitter rant. I understand where he's coming from. And I want to take a couple minutes to kind of focus on this because I feel like it's really, really important. He was not referring to the fact that they are homophobic. That was not what he was discussing. That was just a really misconstrued statement, um, simply because it had been in the news a week prior. So that is really, um, that's really important to, for everybody to understand. I wasn't mad at Liam Payne. I think that Liam is um, a wonderful guy, and I just think that he just needs to learn how to communicate better. He just doesn't understand that there are things that he can't say. Um, on Twitter and I understand that he, why he exploded he's a young guy he you know he didn't really you know he's hounded all the time he's under the microscope and um, I think we'd all snap if we had that pressure as well and have our words misconstrued so I'm not mad at him I don't have to forgive him because I was never mad at him to begin with but Liam just get your shit together bro just learn to explain yourself I know you have 140 characters but you can tweet more than once it's okay we'll appreciate it so next question is if you had to get two lines of 1D lyrics tattooed on your ass, what would they be? Um, tonight, let's get some and live while we're young. <laughs> that's just for reasons, beyond reasons, but that's it. And that's the one I'd go with. 
So I'm going to go with that one for sure. And if you all want to know why, just listen to that song because I think that's really important. Uh, if you could have Harry Styles autograph any part of your body, what part would you choose? Um, my butt. That would just throw him right off. But I feel like he'd appreciate that. I feel like he'd be like, oh, okay. That's kind of cool. And I would tattoo it. And I have a really big butt. So if they all wanted to sign it, that's cool. And I would just tattoo all their signatures on my ass. Which would be interesting in the future. But um, personally for me, I believe it's an exit, not an entrance. So no one would really be saying it. Uh, but yeah. I'm going to go with that. Um... Improvise a marriage proposal directed to your number one. Niall. It would be at a Maroon 5 concert. In the middle of She Will Be Loved. Get down on one knee. Um, and ask me to marry him with my mother's engagement ring. That would be my ideal proposal. That's my ideal proposal for any man if he wants to marry me. Um, so yeah, that's the one I'm going to go with. These questions are great, by the way. Whoever wrote them, kudos. Uh, next question. Which mountain range do Zane's cheekbones most remind you of? God, I'm horrible at geography. I know countries and stuff, but mountain ranges? What are mountain Like, is like Appalachian like a mountain range? Or like, I know Canada has mountain ranges, but I don't know what they are. Okay, if there would be anything, whoever is good at geography, whoever knows their geography, can inbox me my answer. Um, but it would be something long and pretty and and not too jagged. Oh, let me do a little bit jagged because I feel like Zane is a little bit jagged. But um, yeah, he's got great cheekbones and a great jaw. And he's, just, he's really masculine, so I feel like it would be a line that would be masculine, but, but also um, very pretty. Like, you walk along it and see, like, shades, patches of grass with flowers. Cause that's what I think everybody looks at Satan and thinks. So, there's that. And what are you going to name your 1D cover band? The Crack. Because that's just a good, that just means you're a good time. The Crack. Or the Drunken Crack. That would be cool. Drunken Crack. Drunken Crack it is. Um, which breakfast food best represents each of the directions? Oh shit, I missed a question. Oh well, I'll get back to it. Um, breakfast foods. Nile is Lucky Charms. That's just obvious. Liam is a brand muffin because I feel like I would be a brand muffin because I feel like I'm, I'm really boring. So I would think, and I'm really sensible and I'm really, I really like Liam in that sense. I don't know why we don't get a little bit, why we wouldn't get along, but um, yeah, he's going to be a bran muffin, because I feel like if somebody had to make me a breakfast cereal, it would be a bran muffin. Zane would be Weetabix, because he loves those. Louis it would be a good cup of tea in the morning. I know it's not a breakfast cereal, I know it's not a breakfast food, but he'd be a good, strong cup of tea in the morning. Because I feel like Louis comes out and he's just a strong ball of sass. Next one, and then I'm missing someone, Harry Styles. Harry Styles would be pancakes. Everybody loves pancakes. And nobody ever wants to share their pancakes. But pancakes want to be shared. You can make a bunch of them and like split them off. I feel like that's how Harry is with women. Just one, two, three. And not to call him a womanizer because I don't think he's a womanizer. I just think he's, he's a guy who just really likes women. Why have one when you can have them all? Or he hasn't found someone yet. I'm not too sure. But that's what I think. So if you, so I'm gonna go back to the next, the first question that I missed. If you could receive a sex tape involving two out of five directions, which two would you choose and why? I had a thing for Niall and Harry. I think that would just be really interesting. I know a lot of people want me to say Louis and Harry, and I don't know. I don't. I know that they had a bromance at one point, but that bromance seems to have gone away. So. I think Niall and Harry. Let's do it, boys. I would gladly receive that sex tape. Even though I don't think any of them are are homosexual, which is um, no here nor there. Some people have good, strong arguments for it. I can see your evidence, so let's do it up. 
And next question, reenact a favorite GIF. I have two. There's one I can reenact and one that I can't because I'm not gonna hit myself in the face. The one where Niall with the basketball and he's trying to impress someone and he bangs it and it just smashes him in the face. That is one of my favorites. And there's also one of Harry on the press tour for This Is Us. And he goes like this. So that's the one that, those are the ones that I pick. Do an impression of Harry at the Brits 2014. I'm gonna try not to screw this up. <clears throat> what did we win? That's it, done. And how many times have you seen this us? I own it. So I like watch it like whenever I can. It's literally beside my bed. Um, so too many to count. That's awful. That sounds horrible. But whatever. YOLO. Um, what question or prompt do you want to be included in the next video meme? The accent one is good. Vanessa brought up the accent one and I thought it was awesome. Um, I've seen some really good answers so I'm going to try not to repeat them. I feel like th we should be asked about our love lives. I feel like they get asked all the time about it so let's just throw our love lives on display. Let's just do it. Um, I don't have one but if you do I want to hear about it because I think that's awesome and I think that if you have boyfriends that respect your that ex ex respect your obsession excuse me um that's fucking awesome and if you're bringing your boyfriend to the where we are tour you guys are my heroes because i don't think any boy would ever go with me my aunt's going with me so it's all good we're having a little girls night and we get drunk because at toronto it's 19 you can drink so i am 21 so i'm gonna get smashed either way i could have been in the states and gotten smashed so it's gonna be fun um go to your tumblr inbox Whichever One Direction blogger is listed first, say three things you love about them and also say if their posts have made you cry. I don't get a lot of inbox messages because I just started this blog a couple weeks ago, um, but it's going to be Vanessa. Hi, Vanna. Um, She is my dear, dear friend. We are classmates together, and uh, she's like my partner in crime in our television show that we made up called Keeping Up with the Synesthesia. It's not actually a TV show. We just uh, made it up in a class that we can't stand at school. So, um, yeah, there's that. Um, three things I like about Vanna. She loves One Direction just as much as I do, and like we have like hour conversations about it, and I know I can get irritating about it, and she just totally listens because she's like the best. And Anna is the same way too, so shout out to Anna as well. Um, I'm gonna get her Tumblr name <laughs> for all of you, so you guys can follow her too. I gotta find it. Um, yes, definitely uh, Anna as well. Um, so I'll go back to um, my like Vanette. So Vanette is, she's obsessed with One Direction like me. She's so funny. She is hysterical. Every one of her Tumblr's posts are just so funny and so authentic and so sarcastic and she just knows how to live life. Like she doesn't even, she has no filter. She just says what's on her mind. It's amazing. And the third thing I really like about Vanette, she's so kind. She's just such an amazing person. She's so open and so friendly and so dedicated to, she just values life. She just really appreciates life. So yes, I'm going to say those three things. Anna's Tumblr is Visions Around You. So Visions Around You, Vanessa Mary, follow them. Greatest people you'll ever meet. And this is the end of my blog. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope to make more of these. You guys need to make more so I can watch them. Love you guys very, very much. Have yourselves a great day. See you later.